Finance contributes to British land success, most importantly by providing the liquidity and resources so that we can grow and develop the business in the way that we want to. We also, in addition, provide important risk disciplines so we understand and evaluate the risks that we're taking on and manage them accordingly. We use debt to enhance the returns we offer shareholders, to provide flexibility and to enable us to grow the business. And for us, our access to capital and our access to the debt markets is a real competitive advantage, meaning we can exploit opportunities as and when they arise. At a time of constrained access to debt markets, we've been able to raise two and a half billion, which is roughly about a third of the debt book that we manage. And this shows you the benefits of scale. And why that's important is that it enables us to exploit opportunities, such as our recent Clarges acquisition, which other people are unable to do at this time. The level of gearing that a property company has is one of the most important judgments for us to make, and we think about it very carefully. At British Land, we've settled on a 40 to 50% gearing range, which reflects the strength of our operational business, the strength of our cash flows, and the way that we manage the debt book, and in particular, our refinancing risk. In settling on this level, we're weighing up both the returns one gets from owning more property through borrowing to buy property against the risks that debt necessarily entails. We have five guiding principles that govern how we manage the debt book. The first one is to diversify our sources of finance. We borrow from a large range of lenders, and I was particularly pleased recently to access the convertible market and raise £400 million. Another important principle is maintaining liquidity, so we ensure that we always have a good level of undrawn, available, unsecured, revolving bank facilities. The third principle we adopt is to extend and stretch the maturity of the debt portfolio. In the last period, we've undertaken a number of borrowings with debt maturities from a range of five years to over 10 years. The fourth important principle in running our debt book is maintaining flexibility. And we do borrow both secured and unsecured, but we negotiate into the terms of our borrowings um, flexibility so that even on secured borrowings we tend to be able to make substitutions. The level of our bank facilities is also very important for that flexibility so that we can repay debt as and when it suits our business. Finally it's important to maintain strong balance sheet metrics to maintain access to the debt markets and our metrics are strong. Our weighted average interest rate has now fallen to a very competitive 4.4% and our interest cover has improved from 2.2 times to 2.3 times covered today. We use debt to enhance our returns for shareholders and to provide us with flexibility. I was particularly pleased with our convertible bond issue. We were the first of the European real estate companies out of the blocks after the summer and we launched for a convertible issue of 300 million and the demand was such that we increased the offer to 400 million and we closed the issue in just over three hours with a borrowing cost of one and a half percent. As a shareholder said to me recently, that's almost free money. This means we're able to access the debt markets on competitive terms so that we're able to exploit market opportunities.